SRRA was downloaded successfully. So now we can go back again and check if we can find our file in this folder. So you see here now we have our file in the form of SRA. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how we can download SRA or SRR raw data or fastq file using SRA toolkit. So first we will go to Google and write SRA toolkit. So as here you can see on the first link, we are on the uh, GIT hub. So we will just simply click on this so uh, we will go to download page and we will click on this so as in this case we are using windows option so i will simply click on this ms windows 64 bit architecture so when i will click on this so it will start to download its file so as here you see we it has started to download sra toolkit but as i have already downloaded this so i will stop this and i will open this and as you see this is in our download folder so what you will do we will simply just extract this folder to our desktop so we can like first extract here so we can go and check in the folders i mean where it is extracted uh, it should be probably at the end yeah as here you see we have now extracted sra toolkit so we will simply cut this and we will paste it to the desktop okay so as you see uh, now we have sra toolkit on our desktop so let me rename this for our simplicity because we will be using its name for several times and i would want to just rename this for simplicity i will just call it sra toolkit so uh, as you see in the sra toolkit folder uh, we don't need to do anything we will just use command prompt to access this bin folder and as you know uh, there are the different files in this bin folder so we will simply go to this uh, command prompt and as you see on the command prompt now we are at C in the local disk C and where we want to come we want to come to the desktop and we want to go to this SRA toolkit and then we want to access bin so what we can do we can simply go to write change directory and we want to change directory and we want to come to desktop and we will simply press enter so as you see uh, it is not generated any error and we are now at desktop so we will move one step ahead and we will write change directory and we will go to that folder that is sra toolkit right we will simply press enter you see now we are in the sra toolkit and we will go one step ahead and we will write change directory and we will move to this bin folder so far so good so as I just told I mean we are now in the bin folder so there are two things to configure this SRA toolkit so let me take you back and as here you can see this is installation SRA toolkit so uh, what we can we need to run one command so as here you can see uh, it is telling that you okay you can zip file then you can go to bin that we have already did and now we want to test our this uh, this sra toolkit so we can simply copy this command which is actually the fast q dump so but before that uh, let me show you 
to open one interactive terminal which is how we can open we will simply write vdb and we will just put minus sign config and we will put space and i and as you know i stand for interactive so we will uh, just enter this and you see now we are at this sra configuration terminal so as here you see there are its different terminal and uh, you can use the keyboard tab button to change you see when i am pressing the tab button it is changing its uh, location and what we need to do we need to uh, just can go to the cache if we want to change the location of our download file but in the present case i mean you don't need to do anything you just open this and simply we, we will exit this i mean we don't need to do anything just to activate we just need to open this and quickly we can just exit this but if you need to change the location so of course you can go to this uh, cache and enter as here you can see we can change the directory but as you know uh, we are not going in this case so uh, we will just simply open this and we will quickly exit this so as you, you see we have just opened that interactive we did nothing and we just exit this so now we are going to test whether this uh, SRA toolkit is working or not. So we can go back and we will just copy this code. And as you know, uh, we will copy this. As you know, fastq dash dump std out. Don't worry, I will paste these commands in this video description. And the link of this NCBI GitHub page, I will also paste this. So uh, we will simply press enter. So when you will press enter, if you see this thing, I mean SR390728 is here and it has not created any error. So it means actually the command prompt is working. I mean, depending upon the speed of internet and uh, your machine RAM, so it may take i mean the different time maybe some time up to a minute or so so if this will generate uh i mean this like this any exact output so it means we are working right so okay uh let's wait here and see if it can generate i mean and let's see if this command can generate this output which is mentioned here right so uh, let's wait a little more for our output. Yeah, you see, uh, now we have got the exact output which is mentioned here. So now we can go to download our required SSR folder. So what we can do, you, as you see, we ha I have a list of these accessions so uh, in the first example let me copy this one and let me show you how you can download and how you can write the command so there are two ways uh, the first way is i mean first we can write this command fast q minus sign and dump and we will just simply write and paste that ssr id and we will simply press enter so as you see uh, again it has not generated any error so it means actually it has started to download uh, this srra data so uh, let's wait for a while and see what actually i mean happens and if the file is downloaded yeah as here you see uh read three to eight nine spots for this accession has been written so i mean it says that okay it has been successfully downloaded so what we can we can go to uh so we can go to the bin folder and as you see uh boom we have got i mean that got sra file in the form of fastq so and uh, now i will delete this again 
and I will use the second option to download that SRRA raw files and uh, we can go back to our command prompt and we can just write prefetch prefetch and uh, what we want I mean we can put minus sign and VV stand for verbose and we can again paste that ID here and we can simply paste this SRRA ID and press enter as you see uh, it is giving like some messages and you see it is now downloading via HTTPS so uh, we can wait a bit more once uh, your downloading will be finished so of course it would be again in that bin folder and we can go to this bin folder and within this bin folder as you see now it has created I mean when we use fastq dump file it has just pasted it and downloaded that file here but when you will use prefetch command so you see it has generated one folder with the name i mean as you see now these files are still downloading so when it will finish so and a file will automatically appear uh, you see uh, now it is showing the message that uh, you see uh, now it is showing the message that uh, SRRA was downloaded successfully. So now we can go back again and check if we can find our file in this folder. So you see here now we have our file in the form of SRA. So in this way you can download your files using fast q dump file or using prefetch command so in the next videos we will learn how we can download multiple files together using this command prompt in windows uh, but till here if you have any question please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye